Hey everybody, this is Tyler from the library. In this video, we're gonna get started with our windmill obstacle. Um, first, I'm gonna show you how you can build your blades and attach them to your servo. First step I did was did a little research. Um, I just did a Google image search for windmills to kind of get an idea for what designs I wanted to do. I decided to do a classic design and I drew it out. And I wanted to have a tunnel at the beginning too. And I kind of had to do like angled blades for my windmill. I started drawing out my fan blades on a piece of solid cardboard and I chose a thinner piece of cardboard so that way my servo didn't have to carry as much weight. So I found the center point, I knew it wanted to be about 12 inches long, then I drew out the shape of my fan blades and then I cut them out using a pair of scissors. I mean any cardboard would work but the thinner cardboard came in handy especially in the cutting out. Scissors cut through it pretty easily. I next grabbed the continuous servo. Um, this is the FeeTech. So I wanted the, my windmill to go in a circle and that's the servo we need to use for this. It's a servo that has the round horn on the top of it. I next covered that round part with tape. That way I could add glue to it and remove it really easily just in case I wanted to change my mind. So I had a dab of hot glue to the top and then I glued my fan blades right down on top of it. I then connected it to the micro bit and used a program to make it spin in a circle 360 degrees. And here it is going. Sometimes I get this stuttering effect. If I just push the fan blades along, usually I got it going. So don't worry if that happens to you, it shouldn't be an issue. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful. In the next video, we'll explore building the body of the windmill and how to connect our servo directly to our windmill as well.